Here we are, Friday, end of the 47th week, and ponder this. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray you're being blessed and encouraged every single day. All right, here we ponder this. Simple little thoughts, all right? Not preaching a long sermon, not doing a lot of teaching, just a simple thought that you can grab a hold very quickly and you can use it to build yourself up or to build someone else up. Just quote it. Tell somebody else what's been said and encourage them. All right, before I get you into it, today, uh, Sunday, not today, but Sunday, we'll be having service right here at Messenger Church. We'd love to have you. 10 a.m., 10 a.m., I'll be preaching the Word of God, and we want you to come. We have a tremendous, tremendous time in praise and worship. The Spirit of God is moving in this place. I'm just telling you, He is here, and I thank God for that. I've often said as a pastor, and I have been pastor Nate a long time, I've often said it, and it's from the heart, not just from the head. He's in control of this place. I don't want it to be my church. It's his church. I don't want it to be my service. It's his service. I believe in people getting saved. We're going to give them the opportunity. I believe in the infilling of the, of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of talking in tongues. We're going to allow it. I believe in laying hands on the sick and believe they'll recover. We do that. All right. I believe in opportunities for deliverance. We do that. In other words, whatever's in God's word, I want that to happen. I believe that Jesus Christ is the very same today as he was 2,000 years ago because the word of God says he was. I do not date God or predate God. I do not say he was or he will be. I say he is. I will say the very same thing that God said to say, for Moses to say to Pharaoh. He said, when Pharaoh asked who sent you, you tell him that I am that I am has sent you, which simply means the God that was, the God that is, and the God that always will be has sent you. I'm here to tell you, we are a church that believes that he is the God that was, he's the God that is, and he's the God that always will be. And there is not another God. There's not another way to get to heaven but Jesus Christ. I don't care what some Hollywood star says. I don't care what some know-it-all theologian says. It has made room for the other gods of this world. There's not but one way out of hell. That's Jesus Christ. Whoa, whoa, watch it, preacher. You shouldn't use that word. Uh, let me tell you, is it in the Bible? Is it in the Bible? Of course it is. All right. So if it's in that word, I'm going to preach it. I will not preach out of a Bible that cuts the blood out, cuts hell or heaven out. I won't do it. I will not preach out of a Bible that cuts the virgin, virgin, virgin birth out. I won't do it. All right. Not going to, never have, never will. That's not old-fashioned or old school. That's just truth that needs to be preached by every preacher. Brother, you a preacher, woman, you a preacher, and you preach that word of God, you better stick to the word because if you don't, when you stand before God, thousands of souls will have blood dripping off of your hands. That's what Ezekiel said. The word of God says that. All right, all right, there I am. You, uh, okay, okay. Let's get into this. I'm stirred up about this stuff. Let's preach what God's word said. That's what we do at Messenger Church. We want you to be a part of it. We'll pray for you if you're sick. We'll believe you to allow you to get saved if you're backslidden or if you're a sinner. That's what church is all about. Here we go. Faith, according to G. Duffy, is the union of our hearts and wills with God's will and purpose. Where there is where this unity is lacking results are impossible. Isn't that fantastic? I, I'm going to read that again. Faith is the union of our hearts and wills with God's will and purpose. And where this unity is lacking, results are impossible. In other words, if God's will and purpose is not being promoted, then you will, see no, you, you will not see miracles, you will not see salvations, you will not see healings. You may see religion, you may see forms of God without power, you may hear words that are nothing more but the sound of brass and the tinkling of cymbals, but you won't see a move of God unless people, all right, are submitting their heart to God's heart, putting his will and purpose ahead of their own. That produces and brings the impossible becoming possible. There we are. 
God love you. God bless you. I'll be right back. I've gone over, but I'll be back Monday again. I love you. Let somebody know about Ponder This and let them know about Messenger Church. We'd love to see you. Guarantee you, God's blessings will rest upon you. Until then, have a good day. Goodbye.